It's the end of September and we're back to the 10k to 100k challenge with a little bit of an update. We'll jump into Camino, do a couple of things, have a look at some of the positions that we're doing well, and we'll also move into a completely different section, which is Sui. Unfortunately, Stepped Up Finance is not showing us correctly. They're still working on some things, but I think it'll be pretty good and a close rival to Sonar.watch soon. Here we're at $10,824. I just did a position change. However, I had an issue just recording it, but I'll tell you what I did just for full context. This is what we're at. Now, what I actually have done is I've entered the Jito Soul and Soul Liquidity Vault in Camino with Meteora. I've gone and deposited, we can see down here, uh, there's about eight Jito Soul or thereabouts, and it got split into some Soul and Jito Soul. This is not going to have much in the way of divergence loss due to the fact that these assets are effectively paired. And my biggest, by paired, I mean like pegged. And my biggest reason for this is I want the met points that's the most valuable thing. The fact that we're earning the small percent of 7%, that's, you know, not really worth it. The met points is what I'm after. Of course, we'll stake some soul with Felder.com regularly. We'll do a little bit today as well, but mostly this is what we're after. And we're after our JTO rewards. Now, I was just in another vault, which was PYUSD and Jito Soul. And I was in this vault specifically because they had extra rewards. So Jito Soul is fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant however there are massive unlocks with the token which means i don't want to hold the token yet so this ended and as it ended the rewards were not worthwhile and if we have a look here we got given a small amount of jt rewards which i don't recall actually claiming so with them i'm just going to take maybe i did claim them maybe i forgot i claimed them either way i'm just going to take this and put it into soul because Jitos, they're amazing, but the token has not been performing well. At one stage, I thought it was going to go back up to kind of its $4.20 mark. However, token unlocks are coming and you always have to factor that in. So that's all we're doing here with Camino. You can see if we jump to Sona.watch, we uh, did okay with Popcat. I think we got that like 50 cents. Only a small amount of money, of course, because we're not like degening too hard. But I'm going to take some of this Popcat out now. And I'm going to go back to Jupiter and I'm going to go to DCA and I'm going to DCA. Actually, first, I'm just going to swap it just at these levels. I'm just going to go and swap it straight into USDC because it's done pretty well. It's like a billion dollar market cap. It can still go higher, of course, but there's another token, which I think is going to have a decent amount of value. So with Popcat, it's done well. Now I want to move it into something else. Now, nothing is, you know, tax advice. Of course, if you go in and out of different tokens, if you're under a company, it's normally easier for your accountant. If it's your personal trader, you will have a higher tax bill in most countries for most of you. So this, there's no tax advice. I'm just trying to show how I am personally growing this side of the portfolio. So now that we've got this, we're going to go into DCA. And as I was saying before, by using all these features, we may be eligible for a bigger airdrop next January in January next year. So I'm going to take my USDC, nothing crazy. And I'm actually going to go and get some Meta. So Meta is part of MetaDAO. The token price has been pumping and they've raised $2 million. And this is for those people that are really familiar with what it's going to take to actually push a needle in crypto, but it's not normally friendly. But I want a little bit of exposure because the market cap is low, the builders are good, they've raised money from Colosseum, they're connected in the space, and I think they're going to do well. So I'm just going to go with $100. And this is something that I'm just going to hold. I mean, maybe if it goes, if this $100 turns into $2,500, maybe I'll sell some. For the most part, you know, I'm going to go with $150. I think that's better. So we're going to go every one hour, and I don't know how many we can do, 30 orders of the next 30 orders. So we're just going to be buying, you know, we'll do it every three hours. We're just going to buy over the next couple of days. Start the DCA. That's not necessarily a great DCA strategy, actually, to be honest. We'll go over six hours. That way we're going to get different prices. If it pumps, fine. If it dumps, fine. This is a long-term hold for me. So that's meta done. Now we're pretty much okay in the Solana ecosystem. There's, of course, been some things that have done really, really well. We'll just quickly touch on them as well. So Camino has done very well. It's come down a small amount, but it basically did 45% in a couple of days. And remember, I still think this market cap is going to bounce up significantly. Drift, which we don't hold any, this did well also. Bigger market cap. And Sanctum, I hold this personally. It's just not in this portfolio. And that's just because there are people that were very earnest initially on helping Sanctum that got big allocations. I got an allocation myself. And, you know, sooner or later, some of those people are going to cash them out and that will push the price down. So after they've done that, a couple of months, that's when I'm going to look at Sanctum and I'm going to 
like what I see. Either way, the market cap's low, the FTV is low, and what they're building is great. Let's move across from that, and let's go back to CoinGecko's main page, and we'll talk about Sui. Now, I've been interested in Sui for quite some time. It's all the way down here at number 26, and it's gone up crazy amount in the last seven days, and in the last 14 days, it's gone up about 80% or something like that. So if you look at something like this, you may think, well, I'm not going to buy it when it pumps up. Nothing's financial advice. It never will be. The reality is, with Sui, this is a blockchain that's probably going to rival Solana in some metrics. I'm, of course, far more invested in Solana. I know everything about Solana, and I know few things about Sui. But anyone that's seen Solana and the fact that it's gone from $20 last year to $150 now, they will think that they've missed the boat, and that's to be expected. So let's open these both up, and I'll show you. Also, worth pointing out that Ton's token is here at number 10. It doesn't deserve number 10, to be perfectly honest. So we've got a small amount of ton because it's got a narrative. But have a look down here. One year, 672%. So very, very decent. Sui, one year, 293%. But in terms of like recent gains, it's done exceptionally well. And recent gains, Solana has not done very, very well. So what my thesis is, is when I was at Breakpoint, I was seeing a lot of stuff on my Twitter feed and being talked about that was talking about Sui, even though I'm at Solana Breakpoint event. Also at Token 2049, there's a little bit of mention of Sui as well. But for whatever reason, the algorithm was pushing this and the price absolutely exploded. And I would have covered it, you know, around this price. However, I just didn't have time to do a video. So once again, at this point, if it retraces, I don't really care. So this market cap here, that's fine. It's probably comfortably going to go to like $50 billion or more. I haven't put any kind of thought process into that. Either way, I think it's worth having some and playing on the ecosystem. Now, in order to buy Sui, unfortunately, we cannot do this by using a bridge. Now, if we have a look in Jupyter.ag, in the bridge section, you'll see that Sui is not selected. And if we go to the portal bridge, so this is done by Wormhole, we'll see even though we can actually select Sui, we can't actually go from, we can go from like Sui to base, but we can't go from base to Sui. And the same thing applies with BSC and whatnot. I have seen another video where it did work, but this just doesn't look like it's actually going to work. I can change this to USDT and it's not going to work. And ideally we want to stay on the blockchain as much as possible without using centralized exchanges. So unfortunately, for whatever reason, this is not working. So instead, we're going to just take 250 USDC and we're going to put it into Bybit or whatever centralized exchange you want. I would like to use cube.exchange. However, Sui is not available here either. So Bybit, Binance, OKX, you know, Kraken, whatever one that you're actually most familiar with, go and transfer it in there. Go and buy the Sui. Not financial advice, of course. It's just if you want to copy what I'm doing. And then the next 10K to 100K video, we'll go ahead and we'll withdraw that into a Sui wallet and we'll learn how to play with that on the Sui blockchain. So that's all for today. Let's end with a quick top tip. And the top tip is make sure you get yourself a Ledger wallet. And remember to never, ever, ever put your secret recovery passphrase into any website whatsoever. If in doubt, just do not do it. And only ever contact the support, be it Soulflare, Phantom, Ledger, Metamask, through official channels. Never, ever do anything with Metamask. That's all. Catch you in the next video.